Hello everybody and welcome back to the new safe hour. We are jumping in again. I am jumping in incredibly annoyed because in the last episode I um unfortunately let's do Suicide King. I unfortunately um only got to donate one coin to the goddamn greed machine. It's stupid. It should never happen. Never. It's just what is the point? Oh, I'm so frustrated. Anyways, I thought I'd cool off with some Suicide King. Because <laughs> I'm a sadist. Anyways, I actually really enjoy the Suicide King challenge. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so let's give it a go. I This is a challenge that I... Yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Basically, if you haven't seen it before, Ipecac plus um, that that happens. It's, it's one of those challenges that's gonna be a bit of a struggle. But there's ways, there's ways around it, um, and there's, there's 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 ways to play this challenge to not do so bad. So let's let's give it a go. Um, hello, you. Also, there's the fact as well that Dear. tears down isn't actually that bad. There's a the fact as well that um, we're playing as Lazarus, and Lazarus did actually get reworked uh, in Repentance. Uh, well, in an update in Repentance, and that does affect this challenge. So we get more than just the one life essentially we get like one life per floor we can use that to increase our damage but honestly i probably won't bother i'll probably just use it as the extra lives if i need them um but as you can see basically as long as you direct impact an enemy it's not really that big of an issue i don't believe we have item rooms but i owe it to myself to check um but yeah so as long as the enemies don't get too close to you or you don't miss you actually don't have that large of a chance of hurting yourself. Do you know? I'm just going to walk into those two enemies. It's fine. How are you not getting hit right now? There you go. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad challenge at all. Not a bad challenge at all. I need to do some of the modded challenges soon as well. I've got tons of modded challenges that I haven't done yet. Oh, bugger. It's, uh, getting hit here is okay, because we can actually heal in this challenge. Unfortunately, Cuba Meat is pretty terrible for us here, but if we get Meat Boy, wouldn't be so bad. Also, another great thing about this challenge, which I didn't abuse... A moment ago that I shouldn't have is secret rooms. We can find every secret room. No problem whatsoever. We should have done that on the last floor. I, I'll be honest, I don't know why I didn't. Oh boy. <laughs> Trying to see something funny. Trying to see something funny. <laughs> should we try this out? That'd be, this is going to be hilarious. It's going to be so terrible. Oh, Lord. There's just absolutely no knowing where this is going to go. Oh, my God. The thing is, tears at height can still hit enemies like that, even if they don't look like they hit them. So, this might actually be a positive. The only problem is, it the chance of them hitting us now is also kind of likely, because they might just land on us. It's just, nobody could possibly know. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love this with a passion. Oh, God, this is gorgeous chaos. Like, I don't know how I managed to hit those enemies there, but apparently I did. I don't know where any of these are going to land. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a gamble. I wonder how easy it is to hit secret rooms here, because I'm pretty sure this is the secret room. I suppose I could just use actual bombs for the secret room. That is a fantastic secret room. Wow, we got very lucky there. This is honestly still very risky, but like 
quite a lot of fun. Also, that's a huge damage up. Um, I will 100%. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. That is not great. Really, did not want to activate you, but there you go. Stay out the way. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this because I think flight can be, like, could be really, really good. And the speed upgrade is just kind of nice. I know this locks me into devil deals, but I'm not that bothered by that. Ow. I don't fire if I'm too close to an enemy. That'll cause some problems. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is so scary. Honestly, the fear that I feel now is immense. <laughs> I have created quite the situation. Oh my god, this is going to be devastating, isn't it? Troll bombs, yay. Soccer ball, yay. How did that not hit you? Come on now. Soccer ball's going wild. <laughs> I have made this challenge so much harder on myself. For no reason. At all, other than it's funny. Oh my god. The, th the thing is as well, it's not even consistent where the bloody bombs land. Like, you can't even predict where they're going to land. Like, oh my god. <laughs> How are these flies not dead? Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. There's no knowing where we're going. Oh my god. One second. Right, let's keep it going. Certain enemies are gonna be so difficult because we just can't kill them in a timely manner. This is just absolute Hail Mary at this point. This is just keep firing and hope for the best. So far, every single shot has hit. Cracker Jacks, thank you. Um, don't think any of those do anything for us. Dark Bum potentially could be good. I'll take Dark Bum. In fact, I'll not only take Dark Bum, I'll bring him back to get these hearts as well. I don't know what it was, what it was he just gave me there. See, already he's paying out. It's good stuff. This is good stuff. Alright, let's get gone. <clears throat> this is hilarity. Hilarity has ensued. We have created something truly despicable. Ow, that was a good hit. Basically, in a lot of scenarios, we need to try and leave the room before all hell breaks loose. Like, we fire as many shots as we can, we kill the enemies, and we leave before the rest of them land. It's the only way. How are these guys surviving? They must get like super powered up when they're uh, electrified. So he survived. He's surviving loads. Oh my god, there's so many shots. 
<laughs> just imagine if we had higher fire rate as well. Just imagine. This is going to be a nightmare because the set enemies like these little brain dudes we need to hit. Get out of here. Tinted rock here, good. Soul heart, lovely. Black heart, lovely. Okay, dark one was a good choice. Dark one was a very good choice. I'm very happy with myself for taking dark one. Okay, Dark Bum, I know there's some, there's some food in there for you. Just hold up a minute. Some more food for you there. Soul of Judas. Not that we need that very much, but thank you. Yeah, so basically what I've done with this challenge is I've taken away the immediate fear of my reflection. And I've added a much larger fear of impending doom. <laughs> the, the, the dips are really scaring me right now. More fire rate, as we said. Thank you for that as well. That gives us two black hearts back. I'm just going to take that. And I should go and find my shop, really. The shop would be pretty valuable. Or could be pretty valuable, should I say. This is a bad room. My God. Two batteries doesn't do much for us right now. Oh my God, get out of here. No! <laughs> the fucking looming, impending doom of this all is hilarious. Molten Penny's pretty good. I think we're going to go for Humbling Bundle, though. Because Humbling Bundle... Should mean the ability for double heart pickups more often, which will be insane with my dark bum buddy. So, so good. Also, let's uh, do a bit of that. Ah, plenty of the other bomb. A bit too late there. Oh, we can drop double the black hearts as well. Good, good, good. The world, really good for us. Although, ah, eh, the D6 is probably better. Let's be honest. Right. Somehow, this is going okay. I'll be honest, I do not know how, but somehow it is. Our health right now is looking very good. Our fire rate scares me. We've increased our fire rate a lot. And as you can see, that is creating a lot more detritus. Ooh, that's a good trinket, being able to break through locks. Unfortunately, I will never trade this trinket away, no matter how dangerous it is for my health. Good thing is as well, by getting all these black hearts, is we can clear out some rooms by just getting hit. With one of these rocks again. Oh! I like charged that rock up then by killing enemies. Dark rock. Extra damage, all of the sats slightly decreased. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Ah, uh, I thought it was going to be exponential. It's not. That's fine. I thought it would like scale with the 
the Ipecac, but it, it didn't. That was a bit of a wash. Bugger. We've lost a lot of health so far here. We need some red hearts dropping pretty soon. I think we're just going to have to be way more restrained about how much we fire. And we're going to need to make sure we're like near the... <laughs> close to the nearest exit. That is incredible. That is where Humbling Bundle comes in. I can't. There you go. Finally got him. You ever have a tinted drop that gives you four hearts? Mm. Whoopsie. Right. Shop again would be good. Here we go. How is this guy not being hit? There you go, finally. Um, teleports the player. Uh, teleports the player into the library certificate room. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to try it. Well, that was fun. So, I'm guessing what's meant to happen there is it's meant to send you to a room where you can pick up any book you want, which is really cool. I'm unsure as to why it didn't work. It just kind of took it all away from me. Leviathan, lovely. Yeah, it just kind of stole it all away from me, didn't it? Right. Oh, well. It is what it is. Grab those. So another double black heart. I'll do the boss first in case I lose any health. Fucking horrible boss, unfortunately. Just keep firing and hoping for the best. Hmm. Extra speed is lovely. We're all black hearts, which means we have also unlocked the fiend, baby. Awesome. Fiend has been unlocked. I need to keep my document updated. One second. Um, Arachna. Unlocked. Yeah, fiend. Unlocked. Uh, punished Andromeda. Mastema? I can't believe we still haven't got Mastema yet. Okay. We're still a little ways off a few of those, but... Annoying room is annoying. You can stop firing green ones, that'd be nice. Eternal Heart, nice. This has been a rather interesting one. I'm really not sure if overall we have been helping or hindering ourselves with this trinket. I feel like it's definitely a hindrance in a lot of ways, but it's also got a bonus of it having a bit extra range. And it's kind of set it's kind of a set it and forget it sort of thing. Good. Pins. Like, we could just, like, set up all of these and then kind of bugger off. Because they stay in the air for so long. As long as we move to a different area of the room, there's not a super high chance for us being hit. We get, what, what, how come she has already lost some health when we entered? 
This would have to be something amazingly good for me to want to do boss rush. I have literally no idea what this would do, but it could be really crazy. <laughs> this could ruin the run, mind you. <sighs> I'm so tempted by it. I can't. I just, just in case I die in boss rush, I can't. But that would be hilarious. I'd love to see how that works. Blackheart's there, lovely. Yeah, honestly, Humbling Bundle was absolutely the best pickup we could have hoped for. The fact that with that mod, it works on um, Soul Hearts and Black Hearts too. Kind of crazy. I know it's only a chance, but... Gimme, gimme. I'm really glad I lost a Black Heart there. This room would have been a tedious as fuck if I hadn't have done that. You grab that. And two red hearts for two black hearts. What a trade. He's playing it with a double black hearts a lot as well. It's the blur. Took a bit of damage there. <laughs> what we got here? Do I have any black hearts lying about that I left on this floor? I'm gonna go check real quick. I think I picked them all up. But I should make sure just in case. Ah, oh, there you go. Not that we won't get more back, but I'd rather be a little cautious on a challenge like this. Right, let's go. One second. All right, let's go. The mum floor. Yeah, that's why I got that. I thought that could be pretty useful. Is that everything? No, there's still one of them left. Oh, there's two of them left. Bloody Skolex boy. How is this not hitting you? Okay. Dark circles are doing it for us. How do I hit you? I can't hit this thing. Put a bomb down. Okay, no, one of them one of them got there in the end. That's a card. Come on now. This isn't the deal we had. I do not like the way this thing looks. Freaks me the hell out. Oh, for God's sake, I hit myself. I hit myself today. Isaac is sad. Let's go with it. Why not? 
Enemy is fast. Why, thank you, game. That is exactly what I wanted from my item. Okay, at this angle, all of the shots are hitting. Okay. Nah. It don't matter. Grab that, you goober. Let's go. We've only got to kill Isaac here, so this shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to try and cheat as well. See where this takes us. Oh, for fuck. Take these. Give me two black hearts. You better do. You, dude. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was going to say, when I need the most, you need to be paying out. Get out of there. I don't know how I managed to kill those enemies before I killed the middle guy. Good secret room find, I guess. Golden bombs could be pretty good. King of clubs. King of clubs. Ow. Just get through. My shortcut worked. Giga bomb. <laughs> We've also got golden bombs here. Use them. Ow. His wings look so much better. Okay. Well, that was insane. I hope you guys enjoyed, because that was absolutely crazy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.